हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूनरी ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल यू कैन यूज दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक ओवरलोडिंग यूनरी ऑपरेटर्स सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन सिंटेक्स एज वेल एज एग्जाम्पल्स so unary operator works on only one argument so when we try to overload a unary operator then only one argument can be passed to a function as an argument so as you all know unary operator work on one argument or one operand so in case of unary operator overloading we have to pass only one argument to a function so as we know that every function in c++ has one implicit argument and other arguments can be passed explicitly so we are following this rule right from the beginning in case of unary operator overloading we have only one argument to pass an operator function which is passed implicitly so we cannot pass any explicit argument in operator function an argument list should be left empty so in case of unary operator overloading we have to pass only one argument that should be implicit argument so we cannot pass any explicit argument in case of unary operator overloading so you can understand this concept with the help of this syntax here first you have to write return type then operator keyword then name of operator symbol and this parenthesis should be left blank because uh, we don't we can't pass explicit argument in case of unary operator overloading then inside these braces you can define definition of operator function so these are some examples void is return type operator is keyword plus plus is symbol and these are parenthesis parenthesis which are blank and another is overloading minus minus operator now after syntax i am going to explain a complete example written in c++ so name of class is number it has one attribute that is x then set data function which is receiving a uh, value in a variable and uh, a is assigned into x then show a uh, method is printing value of x on console now void operator minus and parenthesis this is overloaded function so operator is keyword and i have overloaded minus operator here so this minus operator will be working as unary minus so it is uh, changing the value of x if it is plus then it will convert it into minus if it is minus then it it will be converted into plus and value of minus x will be assigned into x then uh, termination of class now inside main function an object is created that is n then n dot set data so this 5 will be assigned into x then n dot show so uh, you can see the output value equals to 5 is printed here then minus n this is calling of uh, overloaded function so here n is passed implicitly and minus is overloaded so inside that definition which i uh, have shown you uh this x will be uh, changed uh, with the help of this minus so uh, i have passed 5 uh, and n so 5 will be converted into minus 5 and it will be again assigned into x so here n dot show will print minus 5 because uh, i have applied minus operation on n object and overloaded function has converted value 5 into minus 5 so friends with the help of uh, unary operator overloading we can apply any uh, operation uh, on user defined objects and we can perform that operation with the help of overloaded function this is another example which is based on plus plus and minus minus operation so here again name of class is number here constructor is implemented which is assigning value of a into x then show method which is printing value of x on console then two overloaded functions are defined first one is plus plus and second one is minus minus 
So plus plus is increasing value of x by 1 and minus minus is decreasing value of x by 1. So these are overloaded functions. In main function two objects n1 and n2 uh, is created n1 is receiving 11 n2 is receiving 22. So with the help of n1.show value of n1 will be printed that is 11 with the help of n2.show value of n2 will be printed that is 22. So you can see this output 11 and 22 are printed here then n1 plus plus and n2 minus minus this is calling off overloaded function. So n1 plus plus will call plus plus function and n2 minus minus will call minus minus function. So again uh, I have applied operators on objects and these objects are based on user defined data type. So again we have to overload these operators. So I have already implemented the def definitions of plus plus and minus minus. So when I print n1.show so its value will be printed 12. So it is in increased by 1. Uh, if I print n2.show it is printing 21. So uh, on n2 I have applied minus minus operation. So value of n2 is decreased by 1. So before overloading value was 11 and 22. After overloading values are 12 and 21. So if you want to define overloaded function outside the class then you can follow these syntax. For declaration you have to use void operator keyword then operator symbol and parenthesis followed by semicolon. So this is declaration and uh, for definition you have to use scope resolution operator then operator keyword then operator symbol and inside these uh, braces you have to define body of the overloaded function. Next is returning values from overloaded operator function. So if you want to return any object from overloaded function so return type will be name of class that is number then this is name of class because uh, this function is defined outside the class then scope resolution operator then operator keyword and then operator symbol then a temporary object temp is created value of x is incremented and it is assigned into temp.x then I have returned temp object from this function because return type of this function is number so we can easily return temp from this function to main function. Now there is some limitations between increment and decrement operators. So first definition is plus plus, second is also plus plus. But both are working differently. First is based on pre-increment operation and second is based on post-increment operation. So uh, for pre and post increment we have to use plus plus operator. So we cannot uh, use uh, same operator for two different definitions. So here we have to apply a function overloading concept. So function overloading says we can use same name for function definition but argument should be different. So here in case of post increment I have used only int here so that we can misguide compiler that we are implementing two separate definitions. So it is already defined with compiler then that you have to use data type with a post increment definition. So that's why I have used uh, int with post increment operation. So you can see both the definitions. In first definition this increment is done and then assignment is done. But in case of this operation first assignment is done and then increment is done. So first is based on pre increment and then assignment and second one is based on first assignment and then increment. So they are fulfilling the operations pre increment as well as post increment. These are calling off pre increment and post increment operations. So first one is pre increment and second one is post increment. So compiler automatically links these calling statements with the respective definitions. So whenever you are going to implement pre as well as post increment or decrement operations in same program then you have to remember this concept so that you can avoid compilation or execution errors. 
so this is all about unary operator overloading implement all these examples which i have explained in the, in this video so that you can understand the concept well thank you for watching this video